Hi everyone, this is Ron in Vancouver, Washington, formerly of Tired Iron. I'll get the shop open again sometime, hopefully. This is my uh, Honda powered uh, gas powered air compressor and I thought, well I, my plan is going to be to have the air pump as well as an alternator put on for AC power and run off of this uh, 5 horse Honda motor and I thought what the heck let's experiment with some of the gas vapor uh, carburetors and I've looked at the GEET uh, somewhat and looked into how it works and then also was uh, looking at the vapor kid on YouTube his videos with using the uh, like air filter elements or other things to wick the fuel up and thereby get the vapor out faster and uh, he has a video where he uh, uses a pump and makes gas vapor and pumps the vapor into a tank and then runs a torch on the tank and it's awesome I'm like wow I didn't know you could do that you can make your own propane basically um, and then he's going to feed that to the fuel injection rail on his truck I believe I've got to get back on YouTube and see if he's got that up there yet but anyway I wanted to mess with some of this so this is my setup this is the second one my first one consisted of this uh, 20 ouncer bottle and then down into the 20 ouncer bottle well this isn't the exact one I had a uh, this piece and it would turbulate the fuel you know basically but this was too small I realized I need more fuel delivery in order to get it to run better so this set of pieces I had laying around here in my secret junk workshop um, I pushed this together these are some fittings off a of motorcycle or some pipes off of a motorcycle for I'm not sure what those were. <laughs> Fuel, maybe. And uh, this is uh, the original carburetor still on there, although I've taken the float bowl off and I'm letting it suck air through the jet. I uh, haven't quite finally tuned that yet. This is a uh, heater core hose. It runs down into this gallon jug. The other thing I noticed with the vapor systems is, well, your fuel can be dirty because there's a bunch of dirt and stuff in this fuel. <laughs> like it's dirty up in there. Uh, this here is the other part of that can. It has a fitting going to the hose. And the hose just runs up here and it's sealed off. Um, and that's filled with steel wool. And that's where the geet draws through with a few holes in the sides for fuel to get in. And uh, my theory was that once all that steel wool is filled with gasoline when the exhaust gases are going through it they're going to be forced to choose paths around the steel wool and uh, you know be less likely to remain liquid and, and, and get into a vapor state is what I'm thinking. Heck I should have brought the chai pot here. Hold on. Just put this all together by hand out of what was laying around after looking at other systems and the principles on how they worked. Now, with the fuel in here, the, uh, you, you know, obviously the engine's air intake is going to try and draw through the fuel, and it's kind of like an oil bath. Uh, air filter is you know the oil the air is forced to go through a little bit of oil in order to take out the impurities so this is kind of filtering the air through the fuel the fuel is acting as the, the air filter in a way um, the skeet runs down into here this makes enough vapor that it doesn't even need the geet thing hooked up in fact it maybe runs better without it I'm, I'm I've spent about a total of one hour since I've got this working messing with changing things around and um, so there's still a lot more you know messing with it and fine-tuning to be done but 
it's running and I wanted to uh, show everybody it's running. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if she's going to run. How's about I'll give her a little prime? I said it's got a little bit of fine-tuning to go but it's not smoking it doesn't smell excessively rich in any way I know it's not drawing any liquid fuel in so it has to be vapor that's getting to it and nothing else and this will supply more vapor than it needs because uh, I can get it in a condition to where it's so rich that it floods out or, you know well while it's running and, and dies so this size of container, my point is, is it's capable of supplying this engine for scaling and I'm sure I might be able to whittle it back down to a smaller size once I really figure out how to make the vapor fast. My goal is to make as much vapor as you want on demand without having to store it so that, uh, you know, I know it can be done. It seems pretty simple. I had another idea with some carburetors where you might take a, uh, so I got a carb body here, a carburetor body, and if you see down in here, this is where the the needle from the slide goes through to the main jet. The main jet would sit on here, it's floatable. And my idea is make a vaporizing carburetor out of one of these carburetors by insulating the jet and the emulsion tube this is the emulsion tube that runs up through here that I wonder if that will come out yeah, it's stuck in there anyway it's a brass tube it's got all kinds of holes drilled in the sides to let air turbulate in now right now it's touching the aluminum on it but if it were insulated from the body of the carburetor then it could be heated electrically and uh, so as the fuel was metered through the jet it would be forced to go through the electrically heated emulsion tube thereby vaporizing it on its way up and we may be able to get away with a smaller size jet get the same amount of bang for your buck so to speak and get better mileage but that's a ways off right now because I've got too many other things going on to delve into that. But this one here holds a lot of promise. So I had this running better than that a little bit ago. I, I messed with it a little too much there. I, I haven't quite figured out what does what. I did find that the normal speed control does seem to work. Uh, but the throttle opens up more when you turn it low. And 
I don't know why. But once this is set where it's nice, last time I had it running, the choke became the throttle control because of it's getting all of its fuel and air in the same spot. And I could just turn the choke on and the engine would slow down and it would slow down nice and even and it was blah 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 and it jump right back up again. Uh, it was running excellent so I'll have to make another one after I get some controls fine-tuned on this and I and I got it all down but I think it's going to work just fine I have plenty of compressed air use my alternator there to uh, get power and I'll have a a geet vapor air power station that's portable all right have a good day